Okay, so first things first, I'm going to be priming my eyelids using MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot. I am applying this with my finger and I'm putting this on to cancel out any discoloration on my lids. And I am going to be setting that with Divinity from the Too Faced Chocolate Bonbons palette. And this is a palette that I'm going to be using for the majority of this look. So the first color I'm taking into the inner corner of my crease is Cotton Candy and I'm making sure to place this right into that inner corner section of the crease and blending it about midway and this is a small blending brush and it is synthetic. I will link it below if I can find it online. And I want to create a nice clean cat eye shape with this eyeshadow today so I'm going to be placing down some tape as a barrier. The next shade I'm going to be taking is Totally Fetch, which is a hot pink, and I am going to start building this up into the crease and connecting it to where we placed cotton candy, and I'm making sure to take it all the way down to where we placed the tape and building up that color until it is nice and opaque. Don't worry about being too precise because we are going to be putting some shadows on the lid and smoking out the outer V of the eye. The first shadow I'm placing on the lid is Cafe Ole, and I'm taking this all the way up to the crease and kind of cleaning it up on the outer corner, making it kind of like a cut crease, but not really. And then we are going to be covering up this shade with a Makeup Geek eyeshadow because I decided to go with blues instead of silver. This shade that I'm taking first is Makeup Geek's Mermaid, and it is beautiful. It kind of reflects with green and blues. It's very, very pretty. So I'm just packing this on top of that silver shade all over the lid, and I feel like the silver under Underneath it really helped to bring out all of the reflective qualities of this eyeshadow and it made it a little bit less blue and it brought out more silver in the color so I actually am happy that I layered it over the silver but you guys can see that I'm kind of bringing it all the way up into the crease to kind of create a soft cut crease Next, I'm going to add some dimension to the eye look by adding some darker colors in the outer corner. And the first shade I'm taking to do that is Ocean Breeze, also by Makeup Geek. And this is a deeper ocean blue. And I'm just packing this on right over where we put the other shade, just in the outer corner and also bringing it up to the crease. After that, I wanted to add a little bit more deepness and darkness to the look, so I'm taking Black Current, also from the Too Faced palette, and I'm taking that on a domed, kind of a pencil brush, but not really, it's more of a dome shape, and I'm taking that right over the pink into the crease and bringing it down on my lid as well, creating a V shape, and it kind of brings a lot more darkness. Since the shade is purple, it's making the outer corner of the eye a little bit more purpley, and then you have the gradient of pink going up into the crease and you have the blue on the lid so it's gorgeous to add that dark purple in the outer corner of the eye and now for the fun part removing the tape oh my god that's so satisfying and then I'm going to be cleaning up all of my fallout with a makeup wipe Moving on to the face and then we'll go back to the eyes. I'm going in with my Makeup Forever Nourishing Primer and I'm putting this all over my face because I am going to be going in with the NARS Velvet Matte Skin Tint. If you guys want a full three day in-depth review, first impressions, three ways to wear this foundation and apply it, then I have a full review of that and I will link it in the description box below. But basically, since this foundation is matte, I wanna make sure that my skin is hydrated underneath. That's why I went in with a nourishing primer. So I'm just blending that out with a Zoeva Flat Top Kabuki Brush, and I'm going to go in with concealer. This is the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind in the shade Neutralizer, and I'm placing this in the normal areas where I would highlight. I'm taking it under my eyes in an upside down triangle and bringing it up towards my temple. I'm placing it on the bridge of my nose, on my cupid's bow my chin, and in the center of my forehead. And then today I'm also going to be cream contouring with the Soleil Tan de Chanel by Chanel. It's a cream bronzer. And I'm placing it on the brush that I use for my foundation. And I'm just putting this in the temple areas of my forehead and then just underneath my cheekbone and my contour area. I'm just kind of bronzing up this area. And then I'm also going to be putting a drop on the tip of my nose. And then I'm going to go ahead and blend everything out. 
So really quickly while I have you guys here and you guys are watching me blend out my cream products, I wanted to say thank you so much to Kathy who was one of my subscribers and she's been here from the start of my channel. I wanted to say thank you so much to her for requesting this look. And also in case any of you guys are curious, I am wearing Essie's Fall In Line on my nails. All right, so now to set all of those creams, I'm taking my Kat Von D Shade Light Contour Palette. I'm taking these two shades right here and using them to highlight and set my concealer. I'm using that on a Sigma F35 brush. I always get questions about what brush I use to set underneath my eyes, and it is that one. And to set the contour bronze area, I'm mixing these two shades on a IT Cosmetics I always forget the name of this brush, but I will link it down below. I'm just using that to kind of go over those areas and set the contour. For highlight today, I am taking Anastasia Beverly Hills Starlight Illuminator on a Smashbox fan brush, and I'm hitting the tops of my cheekbones and kind of creating a C shape to connect it up to the top of my brow. And then I am hitting it just on the tip of my nose as well. Okay, moving back to the eyes, I'm taking the Makeup Forever. This is the silver color from the Flash Palette. They do sell them individually. So I'm just going to be taking this on any angled liner brush and creating a silver winged liner. You guys can use any silver eyeliner. You can use black also if you wanted to, but I really felt like using silver for this look, so that is what I did. Moving on to the lower lash line, I am using this purple eyeliner by L'Oreal and I am just going to be kind of using this to smoke out the lower lash line and then I'm going to be going back into the palette and taking that black current purple eyeshadow shade to blend and buff and set that eyeliner on the lower lash line. You really want to spend some time here and buff and blend that and smoke that out. And then this is optional, but I had this in my collection, so I decided to just use it. This is the Kat Von D ink liner in the purple shade, and I just created a line underneath that silver wing just to add a little pop of color into the liner as well. Now go ahead and use whatever mascara you want. You can also use lashes. I don't like using lashes, they really irritate my eyes. But for the lower lashes to add even more purple, I have this Ciate Purple Mascara that I decided to use on my lower lash lines, but I think that L'Oreal makes a purple one now too. As a last step for the eyes, I'm taking the shade Satin Sheets and I'm placing that on the inner corners of my eyes as a highlight. For lips, I am going with Nude, so I'm taking this Nude liner from Too Faced and just lining my lips, and then I'm going to go ahead and use Anastasia Beverly Hills Pure Hollywood Liquid Lipstick. Now this is a very nude pink shade, and it was a little bit too nude for me when I put it on my lips. I felt like there was no dimension to my lips and they looked kind of flat and dead, so I did decide to mix a little bit of the Sephora lip color in Fig Luster and I'm placing that just in the center of my lip and I'm buffing it in with my finger and it added just a little something something to the lip area and now I'm just setting my face with some MAC Fix Plus and that is it. I hope that you guys enjoyed today's tutorial. If you do recreate it then please don't forget to tag me on social media. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you in my next video. Bye!